What's up, DigiDestins? This is Kyle D, better known as Ride My Avatar, and today we're going to be showing off a deck profile, none other than Bloom Lord. I'm excited to show off with some new rearrangements and everything like that, and we'll hopefully get you excited. So without further ado, let's dive into the video and talk about it. So let's dive into this video and talk about it. So first off, we have Kokomon. Kokomon is basically in here from EX4. This card is when effect suspends one of your Digimon, draw a card for your turn. Not bad. I think it's pretty solid. And then we basically, you can't have one of the twins without the other twin, Gummymon. So Gummymon basically says when an opponent's Digimon becomes suspended, draw a card on your turn. Basically, we have five draw advantages. And that's how we're going to... And then we do have four Lalamon. Lalamon's in here because there's a specific card you want to have, but it's on play says basically reveal the top three cards of your deck, add one Digimon card with vegetation, plant, or fairy in its traits, and then add one Yoshino among them to your hand, place the rest at the bottom of the deck. Kind of kind of like very vitally important because of the fact the way it's worded is in its traits. Palmon reads slightly differently. It bracketed and just says what you need to grab. It has to be that mandatory trait. But because it has fairy in its traits, we can grab a specific card that just got introduced during the new movie. So your turn. When this Digimon would Digivolve, if you have a, ta a green tamer, you can reduce the Digivolution cost by one. So not bad. Cheap cheaps out the evolution lalamon's pretty decent you could definitely play palmon if you don't play the card that is in this deck okay next we do have the king of suspending your turn when this card is suspended you suspend one of your opponents digimon it helps set up gummymon you can use it for you know your good friend you know kokomon because you'll use your effect to suspend you know not bad I think Pumamon at three is fine for this list because we're going to use other things to really just go off. But, you know, Pumamon, Pumamon. Then we do have two of the new BT14 Palmon. So start of your turn, if you one of your opponent's Digimon gains this effect all turns when the Digimon becomes suspended, lose two memory until the end opponent's next turn. So basically when they swing or you force them suspended, they're going to be basically losing memory which is very important and then basically when this digimon would digivolve if you have a green tamer reduce the cost by one so palmon's in here just because it's a good super rare and when you have her go off she's gonna go off then we do have uh pumamon from bt9 all players cannot play digimon by effects this helps slow down annoying decks that are going to be a pain in the rear and I'm talking about you, Fen Fen Lugumon. So Fenry R Lugumon is going to be a pain in the butt. So we just need some Pumamons to slow them down just a tad bit so we can just OTK them. So just being able to shut down them spamming out bodies really does help out. And then finally, to the new card. This card is brand new, Ukumon. Ukumon is quite interesting for people that don't know. This is your turn when a card is moved from your breeding area into the battle area. You may, you may hatch one digi egg into an empty zone, but also you gain one memory. So Ukumon's just in here to be Ukumon, just basically gaining the memory. It can digivolve on top of your digi eggs if you need to just do that draw, but you kind of get locked out of doing stuff. But the fact of the matter is it's also an ancient fairy, which is why Lalamon is in here a little bit more importantly. We would probably play Palmon in exchange, but Ukumon's Ukumon. I like Ukumon. It's going to be very spicy to see how this turns out, if it stays in the deck or goes out. We'll see. And then, you know the core of this. You got to play for Sunflowmon. So when did you evolving suspend one of your green Digimon? You may play one Digimon card with vegetation, plant, or fairy in its traits and a 3000 DP from your hand without paying its cost, and then when an effect suspends one of your Digimon, draw a card for the Inheritable. Sunflowmon's just gonna help spit out bodies, and that's kinda really solid. You know, being able to self-suspend, throw a body out, set yourself up real nice. So, 
The Sunflowmon from BT10 is really good. Then we do have Sunflowmon from the more recent set, BT13. So, main, by suspending this Digimon, one of your Digimon may Digivolve into a Digimon with fairy in its traits from your hand without paying its Digi for its Digivolution cost. Reduce the Digivolution cost by two. So, vitally important, it gets to lower the annoyance here. So, that's pretty good to see. Then we do have your turn when this Digimon would Digivolve. If you have a t green Tamer, then you would reduce the cost by one. So it's pretty all around what you want to have here. Then we do have two Togemon. Togemon, who doesn't like Miss, Miss Boxy? So... You know, Togemon's all about boxing gloves and everything like that. So your turn. When you would play a green tamer from your hand, suspend one of your green Digimon, reduce the cost by three. So basically, any of your Mimis are free. So that's kind of very useful. I think it's really nice. But when you, when this Digimon would Digivolve, if you have a green tamer, reduce the cost by one. So just solid. We just like Togemon. Then we have Agitarmon. So, how many copies are we playing? We're only playing three. Uh, we could definitely go to four, but I think Agitar at three is fine. You, you're going to have enough draw in this deck. But Agitar basically says, suspend one of your green Digimon. You may play one Digimon with vegetation, plant, or fairy in its traits. And 3,000 DP from your hand without paying its cost. And then your turn when in effect suspends one of your Digimon gain a memory. I think this is really solid. Agitar is just going to do Agitar shenanigans. I think this is where we want to have it at. We're going to play it at three. Then we do have two Lilymon Ace. Lilymon Ace is basically burst Digi Evolution. Basically on your counter timing, your opponent's turn, you get to... On play, when did you all like suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, and then you may return one of your opponent's Digimon with 5,000 DP or less to their to the owner's bottom of the owner's deck, and then it has the overflow three mechanic. So, quite useful. I think just having two of it's fine. Then we do play two Cherry Boys just for the Digisorption, and then the redirect when your opponent's Digimon attacks, you may. Switch the target to one of your opponents, one of your suspended Digimon. So, Cherry Mon's Cherry Mon. Two of it. Then we do play one Blossom because it's searchable and it's restricted. So, Digisorption 3, free Digi-Evolution. Why not? Then we do play three Hydramon. So, when Digivolving, suspend one of your you or your opponent's Digimon. And then all turns when an opponent's Digimon becomes suspended for each suspended Digimon... With vegetation, plant, or fairy in its traits, you gain one memory. So just controlling the board. And then, end of turn, if you have two or more suspended Digimon with vegetation, plant, or fairy in its traits, place one of your opponent's suspended Digimon at the bottom of its owner's deck. So Hydramon's just being Hydramon. Just wants to do its silly shenanigans. Three of it's just fine. Anything more is just overkill. Then we do have four Bloom Lord. Bloom Lord's still the heart and soul of the deck, so when Digivolving, you may suspend one of your Digimon, then gain one memory for each suspended Digimon with Vegetation, Plant, or Fairy in its traits you have in play for each one. And then if you gain two or more memory by this effect, this Digimon gains Piercing for the turn, and also your turn, but if you have two, for every two suspended Digimon, you gain an extra Security Check and a DP Boost. So most likely it's going to be able to sur survive most battles, and then all you have to do is just clear security. Bloom Lord's just Bloom Lord. Bloom Lord's going to stare you down and just make you have a bad day. And then basically the annoying card factor that everybody hates so much is Quartzmon. So when Digivolving, suspend all Digimon and Tamers on the then for every sus every two suspended Digimon and or Tamers gain one memory. So Quartzmon hopefully is ridiculously free. And then all turns when this Digimon, all their Digimon other than this Digimon cannot unsuspend. So basically complete lockdown. And then Quartzmon, 
Suspend one of your opponent's Digimon and or Tamers, then trash the top of your opponent's security for every five suspended Digimon and Tamers in play. So basically, between your boards, this card is going to make your opponent have a bad day. Quartzmon is just scary to deal with, and most players have a tough time. So Quartzmon is Quartzmon. Then we are playing Big Mimi. So Mimi is being able to help you promote stuff up, especially with Ukamon. You can now have Ukamon with Mimi on board, promote up, you know, Ukamon hatches, Digivolve, rest Mimi, promote back up, as long as you have a level 5 on board. But the free memory gain in Mimi is just really good. I think Mimi is just always going to be good. Then we are playing three of the new Mimi. So three new Mimis. What does it do? On play, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one Digimon with plant and vegetation slash fairy in one of its traits among them to your hand. Place to rest at the bottom of the deck in any order. So it helps searches you out stuff. And then your turn when a card becomes suspended by an effect by suspending this tamer, gain a memory. So basically Mimi's going to help push your plays and continue your plays going. So the more Mimis you have, the scarier she gets. And very much vitally, we want to have scary Mimis. Then we're kind of getting into the final bit of it. We are playing one, two, three, four agility trainings because agility trainings are the best card in this deck because basically we're doing reduced cost anyway. So you get free evolutions basically so quickly with this effect and it helps searches up two cards. So this completely searches everything in our deck minus Ukamon. So... Basically, we want that, and I love it so much to have this consistency. It's a consistency boost that we needed. And then we do have two green memory boosts just for the searching. At the end of the day, it's all that's good for. Check the top X. Top four, add a green Digimon, and then it got you pop it later for two memory. So I think it's really solid there. And then we do play one of the most broken, ridiculous cards in history. Hidden Potential Discovered. This card lets you basically Digivolve anything for free. So you get free evolution by suspending one of your Digimon. Reduce it by five. So, I mean, Quartzmon becomes a one cost. Bloom Lord's a free cost. Gain X memory. Hydromon becomes free. And then basically everything else is just solid. So Hidden Potential Discovered at one's not bad. And I think it's really solid. So... Things like this is really good, and I'm excited to show this off. And guys, how are you building this deck? I do want to know. Let me know down in the comments how you're going to build Bloom Lord this format, especially with the new Ukumon. Are you guys going to play it or are you not? But let's see. Let's spread out the deck because you guys want to see all the good Shazam at the end. Now, one of these days, I'm going to get uberly fancy and make, like, a design in the middle of this. And I think I'm going to have to do that. <laughs> okay. So, guys, if you get to see, this is the deck. Complete and all for your enjoyment. So, guys, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you next one. Peace!